Hey everyone, welcome to prompt number 18. Our prompt videos are officially an adult. You know what that means. I'm going to draw everybody naked from here on out. Hope you're ready. We're going to draw an elephant naked. Hmm. Well, okay, well, okay, Let, let's just see what I do. Hold on to your butts, guys, because this prompt, I feel like I need to warn you. It took a really weird turn really fast, and I think there's something wrong with me. This might be my cry for help, because things are weird if you don't like blood, if you don't like gore. Uh, maybe you don't continue watching this prompt. If you do, well heck, I got something for you that you're going to like. So going into this prompt, I was feeling very uninspired. I mean, elephant, I have no connection or draw towards an elephant. There's nothing about an elephant that I like a lot. They're cute, they have their big ears, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I started sketching by just drawing some elephants as they are, and I tried to explore a couple of ideas, but like I said, I was just feeling uninspired. I almost went with this idea of an elephant family portrait because I think elephants are super into their families and sticking together, but it, it was boring. I mean, it's just a family portrait of elephants. I don't know. So I suddenly just got this urge to draw some intestines. I wanted to draw someone's innards coming out. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know what happened but I just went with it. The reason why she's missing a leg is because I ran out of room on the paper and I thought, heck, why not? Let's just completely destroy her. Art is really funny in that way. You end up doing something wrong, you make a mistake, but it can really go the right way for you. It can really turn out to be something really good in the end. I feel like there are so many illustrations I've made through these prompts where I've accidentally done something or I just wasn't feeling something, but it always ends up, for the most part, pretty good. It just goes to show if you push yourself, even if you really don't want to draw, you can come up with some really good things. You just have to have that push where you actually draw, and I know that can be really hard. And what am I talking about? This sounds like an art block video all of a sudden. That's another video. Let's get back to the art. So obviously there's no real reason for her to be an elephant in this situation, but the prompt was elephant, so she's an elephant. I do have to say, I really enjoyed drawing the trunk. I love doing long angular things and just kind of playing with the shapes. And this may have also just been an excuse to draw a thicker girl. I have a tendency to draw all my people about the same weight and thickness, and that's kind of a problem for me. So by making her a human, it was a really good excuse to draw someone that was not super skinny for once. I may have also been partially inspired by the fact that last Thursday during my art stream, I was drawing furries. You know, the half animal, half human creature things. I think they were still in the back of my mind, and honestly I might go revisit some of those sketches. I'm going off topic again. Back to the art! So looking at this piece after the fact when it's finished, I was starting to get a bit of a zombie vibe from the hands. That wasn't my original intention. They aren't super zombie looking because they are just these black, elongated, fingery creatures, so I'm hoping that you don't see that, now that I've pointed it out. But what I was going for was just kind of a internal mental struggle type thing. Like she's being tortured down to her soul, but maybe this is all happening in her head. Originally I was just going to have her floating there in a magical girl type of pose with her intestines wrapped around her, kind of like Sailor Moon's transformation, but instead of ribbons, it's her innards! Yay! But then, like I said, she didn't fit on the page, and then I cut off her leg, and then I decided to put these hands reaching and grabbing for her, and I guess that's where things took a weird turn. 
So originally I was kind of going for the cutesy gore thing, but then it turned into just straight gore. I do want to go revisit that cutesy gore thing one day because it, it's just fun. I don't know. I just really like to draw blood these days. I draw too much blood. My last prompt had blood. Eek. With the black border around the entire piece, I'm not entirely sure why I added it. I didn't want it to just be a white background, and I thought maybe adding these scratchy blacky pieces would kind of add to the atmosphere and just overall darkness and roughness of the piece. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I'm just kind of eh, whatever about the whole thing. It definitely adds to it, I think, but I am so attracted to white backgrounds. It's, it's not good. It's not good. Oh wait, do I remember why I added it? I think maybe my original idea behind that was that the hands were kind of coming out of this darkness and grabbing her. Like I said, this isn't necessarily reality. This is more of maybe a dream she's having or like an internal struggle being represented like this. I don't know. I'm not a deep person. I'm just kind of going with it. Just gotta fake it until I make it. And as usual, making the blood splatters was my absolute favorite part of this piece. The whole process is just so much fun and it's kind of relaxing. Well, that's it. Another prompt finished. Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys a fan of blood and gore? I do like my horror movies to have blood and gore, but I actually think it makes me a little queasy. Alright guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!